damsels in DIY here. It's the holiday season and things are going crazy in the kitchen. Space is running short, time is running tight, and everyone is going mad. At least in our house. I don't know about yours, but like if it's not like that, we don't want to hear about it. Anyways, we're going to show you some tips today to help make everything a little easier for you. We've chosen our top five fruit and vegetable hacks that most people don't seem to know, and they are definitely time savers. One, how to cut avocados perfectly with very little mess. Avocados are a messy fruit, and they tend to fall apart when they're ripe. Most people just scoop it out with a spoon, but we want to show you the best way to cut it that we've ever found. Take your avocado and first give it a light squeeze. It shouldn't feel hard in your hand, or likely it isn't ripe yet. It also shouldn't feel hollow and dry in your hand, or it probably has gone bad. It should feel firm but fleshy and should give slightly if you squeeze it hard enough. That's how you know you have a ripe avocado ready for cutting. If it feels fleshy, pull the stem tab at the end and check the color. It should have a nice greenish yellow color. If it is green, it's too young. If it's yellow brown, it's already gone bad. Now take your ripe avocado and cut it in half around the seed. Pull or twist the two halves apart and use your knife or spoon to stab and remove the seed. Now cut your avocado halves into quarters. Take the skin off of the avocado on each quarter and peel it off. The skin should come off pretty easy if the fruit is ripe and you can take your knife and cut it into slices ready for sandwiches and hors d'oeuvres. This also preserves the most amount of the fruit as spoons often don't get it all off. If you are making guacamole, you can also save time on mashing your avocados by using a potato masher instead of a fork. While waiting for people to be ready for guacamole or after the party is over, spritz some lemon or lime juice over the guacamole and seal it tightly with plastic wrap to prevent browning. Looks like you let your potatoes get a little green there. Yeah, they're, they're green potatoes. Don't worry, I will eat all of it myself. <laughs> oh, so bad. You don't want any of it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Two, how to pick citrus that won't be dry or unripe on the inside. Fall and winter are when citrus fruits are at their best, but you can still pick up stinkers if you don't know what you're looking for. The key to picking ripe and juicy citrus is the weight. The heavier and fleshier the fruit feels in your hand, the better the chance that you are picking a good fruit. You can get better and better at this technique by testing different pieces of fruit each time you head to the store. The more you get used to handling heavy feeling citrus, the easier it will be for you to pick a good one in the future. Three, how to peel garlic and de-seed pomegranates quickly. We've seen gadgets for peeling garlic galore, but the best ones are probably in your baking cabinet. All you need is a cutting board and two metal mixing bowls. Take your hand and press down firmly on the garlic to separate all the cloves like this. Now stick all the garlic in one of the mixing bowls and place the other bowl on top like this. Holding the bowls together, shake the bowls vigorously until the cloves separate from the dry skins. You can pull out the skin clothes and duft and continue until all the clothes are separated. This trick also works for pomegranates. Cut the pomegranate into quarters, put the quarters into the bowl system, and shake until all the seeds are released from their shells. Pour the loose juice into a bowl and save it for later. Add water to the pomegranate seeds and use this to remove all the duff. It's three in the morning. I made you pomegranate seeds. Four, how to gut bell peppers efficiently. I've seen a lot of different ways to cut a pepper, but it either wastes a lot of time or it doesn't really give you very much of the bell pepper. So here's a better way to do it. Cut your bell pepper in half from the bottom all the way through the stem. Now, while standing over a sink, take your fingers and lift out the seed pod from each half like this. If any seeds are left in the halves, hold them with one hand and hit the back of them with the other hand like this. After that, they are ready for chopping, dicing, and slicing. You can also spritz these with lemon for a tangy raw snack. Quite a technique you've come up with there. Is it hard to get seeds out? Because they're like in there and they're in the tiny little hole at the time. Not even cutting it very well. Hmm. Is that even gonna work? I don't know if that's gonna work. Five. 
best method for cutting and storing apples in pears. We all know how to cut a pear or an apple, but did you know that certain knives are actually better at it? If you want the perfect apple cutting and coring knife, get one with a thin curved blade. It will cut through the apples just fine, but the real trick is how well it will core them. The thin curved blade is easy to use to get close to the core and will change direction easily when you need it to. If you're planning to cut up a bunch of apples this season, these can make the process a lot easier. And just like with guacamole, you can use lemon juice spritz to keep your apples and pear slices extra fresh while they are being stored in the fridge. This also gives them a little extra tang when you eat them later. Mm. What kind of apples are these? They're lemon apples. What? Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Happy holidays and have a great winter season. Hey honey, I'm like, yes dear! <laughs>